Hey guys, this is Sophia from the Sophia Diaries and I'm here today with a hopefully quick birthday haul. Um, I've seen a lot of my favorite YouTubers do this in the past and I thought it'd be really great to share what I got this year for my birthday. Um, usually I don't get a lot of gifts which I'm okay with because I already count myself to be a very lucky person but um, this year I did some, I went shopping, I did some shopping um, and I got some really nice gifts from my boyfriend and my parents so I thought I'd show you really quick um so yeah i hope you enjoy and as always any links that i can find of the products will be linked down below i'll also have the blog post i did about this haul in the description box down below so if you'd rather just see the pictures and click on the link automatically like you can feel free to do that um so let's get started so one of the first things i got um earlier in the week is a new phone this is the iphone 7 and you can see the times oh you can see it you can see that the time says 3 11 right now um i originally didn't plan on getting this but um my other phone was dying and my parents were like you know what like it's your birthday so we're just gonna treat you and you can get your upgrade so i got an upgrade um so far i'm enjoying it i am an android girl so i've been using android for Four years? Five years? Basically, ever since smartphones got invented, I've been using an Android phone. So this is my first time venturing into an Apple phone, and a lot of my friends can attest that I've been asking them for help because, like, I don't really understand certain little features, um, like the side button here about the silent and that kind of stuff. So um, I'm still getting used to it. Um, I did get a glass tempered screen. I dropped my phone way too much, and that's one of the things I'm worried about. Um, I also have a black marble case that's from Amazon, and I'll link that down below. Um, my wallpaper is also black marble. I don't know if you can see it very well because you know you can see the reflection of my setup. But um, I'm a big fan of marble print, and especially black marble. So that's this. Um, yeah, so this is a present from my parents. And a present from my boyfriend is, so early on in the school year, um, I had a friend who brought the, out her speakers for when first years were moving in and I was like, this is amazing. Like it's the quality, the sound quality was so good and it's just like so pretty. So um, I guess my boyfriend remembered, which I never thought he actually paid attention. But um, yeah, so he got me this speaker by Harman Kardon. I don't know if you can see it very well. Hopefully you can. Uh, I can't tell. Okay, yeah, you can see it. So it is this giant speaker. It like has legs. Um, the bass comes from back here and actually when you play it, like you can see this thing move. Um, but this is one giant Bluetooth speaker. It is actually quite heavy. Um, I didn't think he actually would get me this but I'm really excited to use it. I'm not a party person, so like I wouldn't be using this much, but at least now when I shower, I'll have good quality sound. Um, yes, so that's from my boyfriend. He also like got me like a mini care package. I'm like just dragging here because the box is right down there. But he got me my favorite Asian snacks, which by the way, like if you're Asian, like, you know this like this is the best thing ever um i actually love 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 these but i also really love shrimp chips which is also amazing um so i am so excited for these uh, i should have planned this better um and then he got me sour patch kids extreme which i'm also a huge fan of and then dove milk chocolate um, I'm not a big fan of milk chocolate just because it's a little too sweet for me and I'm not usually a person who likes chocolate to begin with so but it was very sweet of him and I'll probably just end up giving it back to him but there's that yesterday which by the time this video goes up won't actually be yesterday but on Saturday April 8th I went shopping with one of my friends and originally I was just gonna like go to Sephora but no we ended up walking through Macy's and they had a shoe sale, which 
is the death of me all the time. So I bought shoes. Um, it was two for thirty percent off, and I took full advantage of that. Um, the first pair of shoes I purchased were the oh, they're falling off my lap. Um, were these mules? Okay, uh, there's got to be a better way to hold this. These mules. They are from oh, okay, there you go. They are from Calvin Klein. Um, and as soon as I saw these, like even my friend was like, these are so you. And I was like, yeah, these are so me. Um, and they're like really nice quality leather and like this, even like I'm not a big fan of gold, but like these gold studs are like the perfect amount of um, bling, shall we say. And, but it's still like understated enough that you have to really look closely in order to see it. Like you, you can't really tell from a distance. Like they just look like regular mules. But like also they're extremely comfortable. Um, and they, they're they just like gorgeous. Like I, I just like, I've been dying to get on this trend. Okay, sorry, they're like falling off. I've been dying to get on this trend. But any kind of mules that I've seen were just either uncomfortable or they were expensive. Like the Gucci ones are super expensive. Um, and these were just like so perfect. Like if, these were still expensive, by the way. These were still like 120 retail, but um, obviously 30% off. So you know, do the math. But these were just so beautiful. I was like, I cannot pass these up because these are the first pair of mules that I've seen that I've actually wanted to wear, that I've actually wanted to buy, and I'm not regretting this. Even though it's only been a day, like I'm in love. Um, and I still bought a second pair of shoes, like I said. Uh, all my friends laugh at me because I have so much shoes. Um, but you know, can never have too much shoes. Like, I'm all about them shoes. Um, so, the second pair are a pair of heels, but I'm gonna actually wear them like sandals because I think they're the perfect um, spring summer trend. Um, if you know me, or if you've seen any of my pictures on my blog, you'll know that I've been all about the embroidery. And these shoes are no exception. Um, they're also from Macy's. Okay, let's see if there's a nice gray shoe. Okay, right here. So they're like these type of shoe with like a kind of a mini block heel. Um, they also have actually a black version and I was originally gonna get it, but then it'd be too dressy and I wouldn't be able to wear it every day. So then I got them in the nude pink version. And it's just like, Beautiful, like let's see, it's like beautiful, um, like cherry blossom embroidery, and it's just like the perfect amount of statement. But it's it just it will go with everything in my closet, and I just I can't. I'm so excited to wear these. Um, I also have a pair of these like from Ann Taylor that are pretty similar, but they're at home right now. Um, but those have like a snakeskin pattern on the back, and they don't necessarily go with everything. So Go with everything like um, and then I did buy one piece of clothing but it's in the mail right now so like it won't be coming for a while um, hopefully I can find a picture and insert it here in this general vicinity um, it is a Zara suede mini skirt it's an expensive skirt not gonna lie but I'm just like I'm ready to bust it out and wear it like it's just so beautiful moving on to Sephora slash beauty products I also went to Target really quick in my nearby mall and I got like two pixie products um, I got the pixie glow tonic oh let me just take that I got the pixie glow tonic I don't know hopefully it's in focus but um, I've been dying to try these and this is also the smaller bottle so it's not as expensive as the regular size um, so I'm excited. I've heard such good things about this and, you know, I'm excited. My, my, um, essence is running out soon, so this is gonna be great. And then I also got their Endless Silky Eye Pen. It's basically just a purple eyeliner. Um, I saw when I went shopping with my friend, she was wearing purple eyeliner on her upper lid and I usually cannot wear pencil eyeliner on my upper lid because I have really oily eyelids. But this is waterproof and I was just inspired by her. So I was like, you know what, let's try this out. And it's $12, so it's like not bad um, compared to like Sephora brand. Okay, now on to actual Sephora. So one of the first things I went straight to was to get this Bare Minerals um, 
Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. I've actually tried this before. This is not my first time purchasing it, but the first time I purchased it, like, I felt like it was too light for me. Like, it didn't, it, there was no coverage. But, like, now that I've, you know, another year older, like, basically two or three years older, um, I'm just like, this is my jam now. Like, I really want this for the summer. So, I'm really hoping that I got the right color because the people that worked at Sephora was so... There was so like there was so many people that like I didn't really get help to get matched, so I kind of had to guess. But I got this, and then because um, you know even though it's sunny right now, the weather's so gorgeous. Um, my skin is still suffering from you know post winter blues, post winter dryness. So I got the Lositan, oh, right, Lositan. Um, Shea butter, uh, pure shea butter. Yeah, pure shea butter. This was not cheap, um, but like I tried it in the stores and it, it felt really good, so I'm excited to try it. Um, and then I got another Kat Von D ink liner in Hemingway. Um, this is basically a brown liner. I have the black version, but in the summer, I prefer to wear something lighter. So I usually tend to gravitate towards brown eyeliners, and I thought it'd be nice to give this one a try. Um, I love Kat Von D eyeliners. They're the only eyeliner on me that I can wear that does not smudge with my oily eyelids. So this will work. I know. And then I got some uh, my brother stuff. But I also, this was like a new thing um, that I recently discovered on their website. So I decided when I went to the store to pick it up. This is Urban Decay's Meltdown Makeup Remover Oil Cleansing Stick. This is basically like cleansing oil in a solid form in a stick. And I was like, if this works, I would not have to travel with my cleansing oil ever, ever again. So I'm excited to see this works. I'm like hoping it works because then that would just make traveling so much easier, um, and it'll make and it'll mean that I can wear makeup when I travel way more often. And then I also got the lip oil stick, which is basically the same thing but for lipsticks. Now, if this works, this will mean I can use less tissues, which I'm okay with because tissues isn't very good for the environment to begin with. But um, I'm hoping this will work. Um, I'm gonna be doing an introductory review on these two products. I know there's a third one, but the third one was like a, a makeup removing mist, which I was reading the instructions and I was gonna get all three of them, but the instructions said that you had to spray it onto like a cotton round. And I was like, that's no different from like my bioderma. So I was like, that's just, in a spray bottle, like it's not really anything revolutionary, but these two are revolutionary if they work. Um, and then I got, I used, I cashed in my points and got the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil sample. This one actually does smell like chocolate. I thought it was just a spoon, but it actually does. Like, take my word for it, it smells good. And then my birthday gift, um, I got the Claudely gift. It's basically, it comes with some moisturizing sorbet and a serum, and I'm excited to try it. I've never actually tried any Claudely products, so this will be great. Um, yeah. So, those are all the things I got for my birthday. Um, I will say that apart from my phone and the speakers, everything, and the skirt, everything was spent with my own money. None of this was sponsored. Um, I wish I was sponsored, that'd be great. But um, none of this was sponsored. Um, I just generally like to try out new beauty products. So I hope you stay tuned for reviews and favorites. Um, I don't typically do favorites, but I might start soon, AKA when college is over. But um, either way, um, I hope you stay tuned. Um, anything, everything will be linked down below. Um, even my blog will be linked down below. Um, Chances are you'll see the reviews of the products on the blog before you see it on my YouTube channel So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to the newsletter if you wish, you know, no pressure um, So yeah, I hope you have a good day and I hope um, If you have any questions you let me know in the comments down below and as always I hope you have a wonderful week and Don't forget to smile. Bye